Hello, kamusta po? You might be wondering what to do at this time of COVID-19 when everybody else is at home and your child is sick. What should you do? As everybody else is doing, we all stay at home and you take care of your little one. But are you also wondering, how can I reach my doctor? Is it even safe to bring my child to clinic? Or should I bring my child to the hospital? These are just some of the questions I will try to answer in this talk. So keep watching. So the reason why we are all in our homes, this COVID-19, what is it? So simply put, it is an infectious disease caused by the newly discovered coronavirus. And majority of those who get infected get mild to moderate respiratory illnesses. What is concerning though is that for older people or those with chronic medical conditions like say heart disease or diabetes, these are the population that tend to have serious illnesses. How it is spread? So it is spread from person to person through small droplets that come out from the nose or the mouth. So from coughing, sneezing, or talking. And how do you get infected? When these small droplets get to your eyes, your nose, and mouth. That is why it is important to cover the face. So when your kid is having trouble breathing, or appears tired or lethargic, or seems to be dehydrated, then you bring your kid to the hospital. Otherwise, if he or she is stable, then you take care of him or her at home. What to do at home then when your child is sick? So first of all, you separate the child from others. You put the child in a well-ventilated room with an open window and preferably um, with a bathroom. You assign one caregiver should be someone of good health and the caregiver should wear a mask at all times and practice good hand hygiene. This is by washing the hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or you can also use 70% alcohol. And also, the child should be taught to cover his or her mouth when coughing. Children less than two years old is, should not wear masks because of danger of suffocation. Otherwise, older children can wear a mask. So when you need to see your doctor, you first do it via telemedicine. What is telemedicine? So it is simply an exchange of medical information from one site to another um, via electronic communication. So you can do this via text or call or a video conference. It depends on your doctor and what is available in your area. It can be like you send a text or call to your doctor and your doctor can send a prescription or it can be a video conference where the doctor can actually see you and then send a prescription or you can set it up so that you set up a date and time to see your doctor. Now you're getting ready to see the doctor. I have a couple of reminders. So just bring one caregiver per patient as much as possible. The caregiver should wear mask at all times. The children should also wear mask except for those who are less than two years of age. And what about bunny suits on kids? I see a lot of them online and they do look cute on kids, but they're not recommended. These full gear personal protective equipments are for the hospital staff who are taking care of COVID-19 patients and not for kids. And now when you arrive in clinic, a couple of reminders as well. So maintain a physical distance of at least one to two meters between other people. And um, as you are still waiting in line, uh, if there is a huge crowd or a lot of people, you can wait in the car and ask the secretary to text you when the appointment is ready, all right? And also, again, wear a mask at all times, practice good hand hygiene, 
with washing with soap and water for 20 seconds or with a 70% alcohol. And then after the appointment, it is important that you all stay at home and only go out when necessary. Now I offer you some tips. How about HEPA filters and UV light? Well, they are popular right now and they can be costly, but it's not really necessary. It's, should I say, optional for you to have. You don't really need to buy it if you don't have it, but if you have it, it's okay to use it at home. This is because the virus is transmitted through droplet and it is not airborne. So simply wearing a mask is sufficient. And also opening a window to, to let the fresh air in is enough. And that is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?